Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another, uh, well, back to Dirty Old Gamers. Mm. Um, I am Scott, a.k.a. Lord Kane. He is Brian, and uh, we're doing a podcast today because today is a short day for us. Um, we have stuff to do outside of recording, and uh, do we want to talk about that, or do we just want to... Let's just get into it. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, something we were discussing beforehand is, um, well, Rockstar Games, yeah. they have announced the Grand Theft Auto Definitive Trilogy, mm-hmm. and uh, Brian has some things, <laughs> has some thoughts about it. It's just stupid. It's... I mean, okay, going by the trailer that I saw, you know, modders do better work. It's just a cash grab. Give me a new game. Quit doing this. <laughs> I mean, it's just... Well, I mean, it, it's annoying because of the fact that, you know, Grand Theft Auto Five came out when... Um, I was just thinking that earlier. I'm gonna actually look that up. Cause well, it was it really. came out first on PS3 and Xbox 360. Right. So, it you know two generations ago, and the only new game that oh, they September 17th, 2013. Yeah. So we could have had a new one by now. Well, the only game that they've put out was, was uh, Red Red- Dead Redemption 2. That's the only which, new game that they've right. put out since then. And I'm not knocking the quality of their games at all. I mean, I, I like them all a lot. It's just, I don't know. I, if you're going to redo it. Well, I mean, yeah. it is what it is. It's, it's a cash grab. I mean, and, uh, it doesn't take a whole lot of effort to you know, do a remastering. I was just disappointed when I saw the trailer, just... Well, I mean, uh, you know, I would prefer that they would release, you know, a new game, you know? <laughs> yeah. Um, but they're they're milking that uh, Grand Theft Auto Five, Grand Theft Auto Online. Which I've never m- played. I, n- I refuse no, I, to mess I with it. I don't have any desire to play that game. I get enough enjoyment out of the game itself. Yeah, you know, just playing it through. I don't need to do all that. But um, you're not and not a fan. <laughs> not a fan at all. It's just <laughs> ridiculous. It's just. I mean, I didn't even know they were planning it. Just came out of nowhere to me, and I I don't know. Yeah. You know, instead of like I said, it's just a cash grab. I mean, I'm know. not all. What protective makes, and precious, like they're my games or whatever. You well, know, I'm not. Just, I'm not angry about the release or that they're doing it. What annoys me to no end is the fact of what they did prior to announcing the game, and that was sending out mass cease and desist orders oh, to all to the, the modders, modders right. who have, you know, lovingly kept this game alive, you know. Right. Uh kept those games Instead, alive. Knock your shit off because we're gonna We wanna make money right. off of, you know, these properties we haven't touched in, you know, over a decade. Right. So yeah. And, and wait, actually is, more than that, I think a couple of those games are twenty years old. I mean it's PS two era it's, game. It's San Andreas, Vice City and what's the other one? Is it Liberty City? Okay, maybe. But yeah, so not even yeah. main. They're not even main. Uh, GTA Three, Vice City, and San Andreas. So I guess it's just five reasons why fans would love a GTA San Andreas remaster. <laughs> Let's just see what these reasons are. Yeah, I wouldn't. That's all fucking marketing. It gives you an excuse to relive GTA San Andreas. <laughs> okay. It makes it even more relevant. 
Dude, if you really wanted to play it, there were better mods out there. Uh, right. <laughs> you, you could, could get that for free. It could fix the annoying bugs. Which they put in there in the first place. They never bothered to, right. you know. Quality of life improvements. <laughs> and yeah. in, in other words, uh, microtransactions. <laughs> and the number one reason, it's GTA San Andreas, but with better graphics. Again, you could get that with mods. And it's not better. <laughs> it's only it's, slightly it's better. Just, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Have you ever bought a game for a, a remastered game? Skyrim. I was about to say, how many copies of Skyrim, Skyrim. do I own? Yeah. <laughs> and I bought the uh, uh, the updated uh, Ghostbusters game. Was Bioshock remastered, or was yep. that just a re- okay. Well, it, well, it, it wasn't really remastered. It was just a port. Okay. Um, it runs a little because it kind of chugged on the PS3. Mm. Um. But yeah. Okay. Since <laughs> what do you think about um Oh, and now it just totally left my head. The game that they're bringing out. Oh, um that was my phone. Sorry about that. <laughs> um God of War. Coming to coming to PC. PC. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I have no Are you angry? No. Are you I, offended? I t- not in the slightest. I, I, my whole idea of a game is if I love a game, and I want that game to do well, I want as many people to play that game as possible. Right. You know, and I, I don't understand the, the fanboy mentality of, you know. It has to always be exclusive. That you're being betrayed by Yeah, by Sony, Sony because... by allowing this to happen. And it's just like, dude, okay, first off, the fact that you love a company, right. you know, that's, that's fucked up in and of itself. Right. You know, it, it, Sony not... is a corporation. It doesn't love you. It, it the only thing it loves about you is your money. It's your wallet. Right. You're not in the gang with Sony out to You know, if they could figure out a way to get you to pay them money and they not give you anything in return, they right. would do it in right. a heartbeat. You know. Um so yeah, the idea of Honestly, I understood the idea behind the, the concept behind a, you know console exclusivity. Sure, you know, but in a way, it it basically punishes everybody else. It doesn't give you anything. It just punishes everybody who doesn't have the same console as you. Well, I mean, the only reason why I had any interest. I mean, I got a PlayStation 4 when I got it was to play Spider-Man. When they announced that first Spider-Man game, I thought it looked cool. And I've been, I just had an Xbox. I had no interest in owning another system. Right. But I wanted to play Spider-Man. And then I got it, and I like having my PlayStation now. But, but I mean, I don't... I didn't feel cooler because I got to play Spider-Man and you didn't. Well, we're also <laughs> in know. our 40s, so well, right. you know, True. that kind of stuff doesn't... But companies and corporations and, and video games especially, um, they uh, had a bit of a snafu here. Of course. It wouldn't be our show without one. It's getting all defensive over. Well, I be, which they're viewing as a betrayal of. It's not a betrayal. That's our game, man. It, it, that's our game. It's just like. It's not a betrayal. Okay. First off, it's not your game. Right. You know? Of course. It, it, it's. 
it's not your game. You know, I, and again, the, the whole concept of, I understand brand loyalty. Well, I mean, because like, look, I, I, all the, all the TV screens that I have in here, they're all Samsung. Right. The audio equipment that I have is Pioneer, you know, and I've always had Pioneer. And it's not because, but I don't love the company. I love the fact, I like the fact that they make good products. And right. as long as they continue to make good products, I probably won't be buying another Pioneer. My next AV system will probably be either an Onkyo or a, a Denon, simply because of the fact that Pioneer doesn't really... Doesn't make any yeah. <laughs> more. I mean, they do, but it it's lower end stuff right yeah and I, i'm not interested in it um the same thing i mean it's one of the reasons why i haven't bought a ps5 because a they're just impossible to get a hold of right now but also you know from what i've seen there hasn't been a for me anyway a killer app that makes me want to buy it. And honestly, with with the There's direction, not... well, the direction that gaming is going, I'm, I'm kind of just not interested in it. I have a powerful computer, so, you know, if you I can... want to play a game, I just download it it's off there. Steam. Right. And, you know. The library for the PS5 is better than the one that's out for the xbox from what i've seen right now but yeah because everyone's but, hanging on waiting for halo but I there's mean, not enough there's not enough and again this goes back to exclusivity there there's you know and i i get it i understand the um exclusivity for a time but oh, after yeah, a yeah. while you know god of war came out in what 2018 Either 2018 oh, yeah, or I'm 2017. Sure. And it's had its run. It's, yeah. You know? And that new one's coming out, what, early next year, I think? Oh, yeah. And they're pissed off about that because, you know, gamers, and when aren't they pissed off? Um, what are they pissed off about with that? Because it's been delayed. Oh, God of War 4, April 20th, 18. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, it had its run. So what's the big deal of Sony now releasing it on PC? It just means more people are going to play right. it. You know, and if more people play it, then maybe they might buy a PS5 so they can play God of War 4 or whatever it's going to call, be called. I think it's Ragnarok. It's Rag Ragnarok, yeah, because... That's going to be the ending of the the him in Norse mythology. Yeah, because Thor's fat in this game too, right? <laughs> like everybody was mad yeah, about yeah. fat Thor in the I, end game. The, the sense of entitlement that I, I see in the gaming community is just kind of nuts. And I hate to say it, but I used to be, I used to be <laughs> one of them because, you know, I, I never, I've, like you... You owned exclusively Microsoft. Might have been an Xbox consoles. guy. Yeah. yeah. Well, I was a Sony guy. Mm -hmm. I, I went from, which is weird because, like, if you looked at my gaming collection, you would think I was a Nintendo fanboy. Well, but yeah. I'm really not. Um, what well, you have the Wii, but you didn't, you haven't got anything, anything past since the Wii. that. Yeah. We've got the Switch, and it's pretty. I mean, I enjoy it. I mean, the kids play it more than I do, but it's it, it's got its fun stuff on there. Well, the only reason I didn't get Xbox was the fact that a lot of Xbox games you can get on PC because it's oh, all right. Microsoft. Right. So I didn't really see the need to to get into that ecosystem. And I'm a poor boy from a poor family. <laughs> Um, so I, you know, I, I 
couldn't buy it every system. Right. Lucky to get the one that you were able to get. Yeah. So, and I don't, I, I'm not a first, I'm not a first adopter. I don't, I don't do the, you know, release day. I'm there by. Oh, you weren't waiting in line at midnight? No, and... I don't, I don't do that. In fact, the PS4 that I have is a PS4 Pro. And um, I traded in my original PS4, which was a PS4 Slim. Oh, right. Um, which it was a year, I think a year, maybe a year and a half that it was mm-hmm. had been out before I bought it. Um, mainly because I, I see these openings and, uh, you know, these... The new systems come out, and they're, you know, they they have problems. They they're oh yeah, and it's getting worse with every generation because a, the consoles themselves are becoming more and more complex, and b, this idea of rush it out there will fix oh, right. it later. We'll fix it later, just um, like um, cyberpunk. Most, yeah, well, any game, any major just game mad release about, now. I'm just mad about cyberpunk. I was really looking forward to that game, and it was a turd. <laughs> no, I was pumped for that game. I mean, I I even pre-ordered. I know that's a bad word. <laughs> but I wanted my cool necklace that I got with it and stuff, and it's just it's got Keanu Reeves in it, and it blows. Yeah. I, I, I haven't touched it for months. I got so mad. Yeah, I heard the console versions were really bad. Um, the PC isn't great. No, but, um, it's a it's a little more stable than, yeah. than the than the console versions. But back I, to you said Russian stuff out. I think the Xbox One that I have is like the giant brick one. I don't have like the. What is it? The S or whatever, and yeah, all that you got stuff. The, the I've got X. like the original giant PC fans looking. running all the time. <laughs> yeah. I mean, honestly, I probably won't get a PS5 until they uh, until they put out an all black. All black. I, I do not want. You know, I, the only I, bright white thing you have there is your Wii. Yeah, that I can see from and here. And I just don't care for for bright colored stuff. But then my... the black stuff all needs dusted all the time. Yeah, especially out here where I live, because I'm surrounded by, by freaking cornfields, corn and it's just uh. dust all the time. And the fact that we have rock roads and right, just. Uh, it, I'm hoping with the new AC unit that I'm getting, um, that will die down at least a little bit because I'm hoping it has a good filtration <laughs> system. So um, I'm not just spraying more and more dust into the room. Um, plus, folks, if you're hearing the hum behind our voices, that's <laughs> the, the air conditioner. And here it is. It's almost the end of October, and, and I it, still have to run an air conditioner. Oh, yeah. I still run the one at night at home up in my room because it just gets so stuffy up there. What was it? It was 80-something the other day. Kids were carving pumpkins, and it was 80 degrees outside. <laughs> well, um, getting back on topic, uh, <laughs> I, I honestly, you know, Guys, you don't don't love a company, you know. You can love a product, but don't love the company because you love the product. Because the company doesn't love you. They never have loved you. They never will love you. The only thing they love about you is your money. Um, they don't so, care that you love God of War and feel betrayed. Yeah, because in you know. As I'm reminded all the time when I complain about it, you know, a corporation's sole function is to make money. Right. You know, it's not there to 
you know, give you a hug. It's not <laughs> there to, you know, make you happy. It is there to make money. Yep. And, you know, you enter into a one-sided abusive relationship, <laughs> you know, if you try to have a relationship with a corporation. Um, so there's a hot take for you. So quit being idiot assholes and going online and throwing hissy fits. Yeah, uh, yeah, definitely. What it boils down to, just shut your mouth. <laughs> Everybody out there, shut your mouth. You're throwing a fit about it. Yeah, if you're going on if you're going on Reddit or you're going on a, a corporate website and Ugh. just do us all a favor, take your keyboard and slam it over your own head because you know you, you <laughs> <laughs> it'll do us all more good if you do that than stop bitching. Yeah. Play and, and just <laughs> yeah, just play the game. Play your game. Have fun. You know, don't take it so seriously. Oh. I mean, that's that's uh. really the whole thing. I mean, we're going to extend this out because, you know, oh, right, we're, right. We're, 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 I'm, this kind of got me fired up now. Um, I mean, I'm sure you've run into them too, where, you got these guys who are just so serious about playing these games like like they're fucking competing on a professional level. That's why I hate playing Call of Duty online <laughs> is because everybody thinks they're a sergeant on the actual battlefield and yelling and criticizing your game. It's not fun. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you want to win and do well and all that, but I don't need Joe Jackoff that doesn't yeah, know me I, <laughs> saying... I, why flank to the left? What the fuck? <laughs> like, dude, shut up. Well, that's <laughs> that's when I do shit like, you know, run by a group of guys and just toss a grenade and just keep <laughs> on oh, you'll, running. <laughs> you'll piss them off, though. You'll... But yet, these are the same douchebags who, you know, instead of finding a spot, like well, I, I usually play as a sniper, and I'll find a spot where I have good visibility. I have some cover, you know. And these are the same guys who just run around shooting at anything. That, oh, that yeah. Moves. It's all go, go, go. Run, shoot, go, cover. Throw and grenades, run, go, it's go, like go. It's that like doesn't, that doesn't show any skill. All that does is show how, how quick your finger can freaking twitch. You know, I, I mean, the, 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 the point of the game is to survive. Well, you know, you want to be the last one standing in those types of games, you know? Well, so why the fuck am I going to run at somebody with a gun? And I'm the, like you, I'm going to hide. And the point of the game is to have fun. Well, yeah, if but you're, I mean if that. You're not, if you're not having fun, if you're getting stressed out playing a game... <laughs> you need to put the controller down because you're getting yelled at by a stranger, especially a twelve year old. Well, you know, now the adults are worse. the The kids are just annoying. But, but you can kind of well, I guess if you're a parent, you can kind of drone. That out. The kids get on there and just cuss rampantly <laughs> and call you every name that they just learned on the playground, and then the adults are trying to give proper military commands and, and then insult your ability and your intelligence and stuff because why would you shoot from there? Why do you have that gun? <laughs> Get in the Jeep. <laughs> like, Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how many how many how many team kills do you have? Yeah. I I I don't play well. Oh dude I, it was rampant on uh, Rainbow Six Siege that if you showed up with the wrong character or you showed up with the wrong loadout, you'd get murdered by your own yeah, team see, before whatever, the game even whatever. started. Whatever. It's just really, really fucking... It's just so asinine. Well, and, I, and it's unnecessary. Whenever I play Fortnite... It drives people crazy because I don't build. 
<laughs> you know, like people love to build their big right. tower. Oh, I don't. I mean, I might throw up a wall if I'm getting shot at. Just for some cover real quick. Oh, you're running. <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, even my son, he's like, Dad, build, build. I'm like, no. <laughs> That's not how it works in the real world. Now stop, I'm this dinosaur man running with this balloon gun. <laughs> Leave me alone. Well, I mean, I, don't I, know. I guess that's why I don't I don't do the online stuff anymore. You never you you never really did. I I tried a couple of MMOs, um, you know, uh, Warcraft. No, I never did Warcraft. See, that seems I, right I did up your alley. I did uh, EverQuest. Hmm. Um, I tried that. I tried EverQuest too. Then I got into Star Wars Galaxies. Um, and then Star Wars The Old Republic. Mm-hmm. That was the last uh, MMO I really got into. And the thing of it is, is that I hate people. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I get I get drained, you know. I you know, and plus communicating in an MMO. Um, isn't great, you know, because either A, you're trying to type while you right. got some monster, you know, biting your trying ass. Trying to eat and, your face, you know, right. And you're, you're, you're trying to say, heal me, and then by the time you get it out, you're dead. dead. Um, and, you know, it's just, I'd just rather not. This might get know. me in trouble, but I've never played Warcraft. I mean, ever. It's all the movie. <laughs> but I've never played it. And I'm not sure I even get it. But it's really popular. But I mean, well, it even, was. Even I trying to jump into a game a... like that now, it just makes you... Uh, this might sound dumb, too, but it's like there's no one there that would, like, help you. Like, if you got in and said, hi, I'm so-and-so, and I'm yeah. new to the game, it, I would just be like, fuck you, and... right take you out or whatever the point well the i mean game that's is why and... i would never play a game unless i could get somebody else to play it with me which and... we still need to try that sometime to like play an online thing yeah together and not uh um... we need to venture outside scott <laughs> <laughs> well i don't i <laughs> um well a that would require both of us having machines that can run you know, said game. Right. We, we, yeah, um, yeah. And. Agreeing on a game would be the next one. Agreeing though. on a game. Um, setting up a com- way of communication because either A, it has to be voice or or we have to be in the same room. Right. Because I just, like I said, I, I don't type. Oh no! I don't want to do messenger. I, I'm very much well, yeah. I'm very much a hunt and peck, and and the interfaces in most of those games, as far as typing is concerned, mm-hmm. are just not great. No, um, you know, and like I said, it's hard to type when you're getting you know you're getting your ass shot, getting shot at, at you know, um, but yeah, um. And maybe that's something that we can we can attempt. Um, Steam has a huge library. Um, yeah. yeah. When's that? When's that handheld thing come out? Oh, the Steam Deck. Yeah. Um, it's supposed to start coming out. I think this holiday season. But I mean, it's pre-order. Yeah, only. yeah it's pre-order only right now. Did you pre-order yours? No. Not to me. to I I wouldn't mind having one I I'll be honest but it's just a little bit too expensive for um uh, for me for what it is um I mean it's the same mm-hmm. reason why I haven't bought a switch because I'm just mm-hmm. like eh. I have a good computer um and. You know, this is where I game. And say so you don't so, need the portable aspect because you never leave. Pretty much. So, um, probably would have been great during college, but right, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> but not anymore. You had no. your Game Boy back then, though. 
No. No? No. I, I never... The no Game only, Boy? The only... No, you had the PSP. I didn't have that either. The only uh, portable gaming system I ever, ever owned, I had a Game Gear. That was the only hmm. uh, portable game system I ever owned. Um, my sister had the Game Boy, and she had a game. She went had a Game Boy Advance and all that stuff. But I never, uh, I never got into portable gaming. What was the Nintendo one? It opened up the DS. That's it. Yeah, that's kind of what my kids came into. Or my oldest when she, because I remember her playing Harry Potter, Lego on the DS. Well, see, this will tell you how That's old right. I, I am. My first portable gaming system, and it's not really a system, uh, Coleco head-to-head football. The one that was shaped like a full football stadium? Yeah, and it had, had the little yeah. things on either mm-hmm. side of it. Yep, yep. Yeah, I had that. And uh, what was the other one that I had? I never had any of the Tiger games Mm because they always they always look stupid to me. My first handheld game was the one where it was like the. Oh, I had Merlin. You remember Merlin? Yeah, I didn't have no. (laughs) In fact, I think I still have it. I think it's uh, around here somewhere. I had the box full of water, with the little oh thing sticking out. No, and then you had to just make the ring float, and it was like ring toss. I'm that old. Oh. Yeah, I had that. I had something similar to it, but it had a button that you'd push, and it would blow bubbles into oh, it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. That was and then, and then, of course, the... You must really, have been rich. The, <laughs> the really old uh, ball bearing games. It had the little ball bearings in it, and you'd, like, shoot them at a plane. Or, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Depending on what game you had, because they had, like, Pac-Man 1, where you had to move it around, and then they had... Uh, centipede where you had to shoot them up into the thing and try to get them to attach because they were all magnetic. Did you play Snake on the old uh, Nokia phone? Oh, yeah. That game? Yeah, yeah. That was yeah. fun. Pocket Pool. Did you ever play Pocket Pool? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's still my favorite game. You're going to <laughs> get us canceled. What? It's a legitimate game. <laughs> It's fun. Oh, yeah. And everybody wins. <laughs> <laughs> Except your dry cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Maybe it's time to end this. All right. We're off the rails now. Yeah, we're kind of off the rails. Anyway, folks, um, this will, we're calling it an episode. <laughs> um, as always, I am Scott, a.k.a. Lord Kane. He is Brian. We are the Dirty Old Gamers. And check out our Patreon. Uh, you can find the oh, link yeah. in our. You will find the link in our descri- in the description below. Because I'm that starting was to do say, that. that was good. I'm going to start doing that now. That was um, good. Smooth. So, <laughs> so take a look there. Um, we're hoping to start Twitch soon, um, and we'll we'll have more on that uh, as it develops. Um, anyway. Uh, This has been the Dirty Old Gamers, and remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you all later. Play your pocket pool. (laughs) Shut up, dude. (laughs)